Everyone knows the bench press is a huge part of your training plan, but are you wasting your time with it? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Nation, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about things that are wasting your time. Are you hitting that bench press because you've read a zillion things or looked around and the bench press is absolutely critical to throwing the shot put farther or throwing the discus further? Correlation, stretch, get the pec moving, clavicular head, you get the pec major, right? Everything stretches out nice in the discus. You're gonna feel that here. You're gonna feel that big chest, big strike, and that's why you need a big bench. And I would agree with that. And over the years, I have been able to increase bench press max on a number of my athletes with minimal bench press and how do we do that and this is what I'm meaning by are you wasting your time now there's two purposes of today's video and one of the things I want you to understand is one if you want to get that bench bigger and two if you're doing too much bench can it actually negatively impact your throw well if you're not training correctly that is exactly what's gonna happen and here's why when you are training the chest one of the things we're gonna be doing is you need to have a strong posterior chain you have external rotators right your scap retractors and your external rotators you need to look like this. Here's one of your simple tests. Stand up, relax, get up in front of that computer or your, or your phone and stand and relax and just stand here. And where do your hands sit? Do your hands sit like this? Do your hands sit here or do your hands sit here? And here's what I'm gonna bet, that the majority of you do not sit here. If you just stand and relax, this is where I'm at right now, what's been happening with Coach Johnson. Coach Johnson coaches all the afternoon and he works at his desk all day and then after coaching. And so what happens is sometimes when that happens, I get a little bit here. I gotta hit the gym, I gotta open up and I gotta fire up the back. I'm gonna be doing pull-ups, rows, all kinds of different things to kind of counter that. And what is one of the things a coach tends to do? Stand like this. Look a little similar to this. We call that the tech posture. Remember, these are things, you're on your phone, you're on your iPad, you're playing, guys are notorious for playing tons of video games. Shoulders in this position. Sometimes we're all playing like this. Now you're in this rounded position. Oh, then you say, hey, it's time to go hit the gym. Boom, I'm gonna bench press. So you're already rounded to begin with. You start smashing more bench, and this is what happens. So what are we gonna do? We gotta start understanding that if we wanna get that bench press bigger, if we want this to go away, because why is this a big deal in the throw? because it affects how you rotate thoracically, right? That means that mid-spine, lumbar spine, cervical spine, that mid-spine is where the rotation. If this starts to get off and this gets off, you don't rotate, you don't create separation. There's less of stress reflex, and this is one of the reasons why you're struggling. So, in this video, we're gonna simply talk about Make sure you're doing a two to one ratio to increase your bench, increase your posture, and you're gonna actually improve your technical learning, and you're gonna get bigger numbers in the weight room faster, and you're gonna avoid injury. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some simple things. We're gonna do how many, we're gonna do three things with a barbell that are gonna make a big difference. So, one, one of the things is understand your simple technical point. If you look at me from the front, you look at me from the side, look what I just did. This is called supine grip, right? This is your prone grip. If I'm already here, notice my shoulders from that side camera. Now my head's sticking forward. I want that cervical spine alignment, scaps back and retracted, right? Down, depressed, retracted, and I'm here. Big, tall chest. This is going to help me be able to create better rotation, right? You're going to see that. As I come through, I'll leave my feet locked. Look at my ro rotation to my throwing side, okay? So you'll see that. If I round and my pelvis tilts, now my rotation is gonna be less. And so if I'm here, and if you see this, this is a limiter in your bench press increase. So what's the first thing we're gonna do? We wanna get that hand here, and we're gonna go supine grip. We're gonna make sure that we pull those scaps back and down. It doesn't mean scoot your chest up and compress your spine with overextension. It means understand how to stand up straight and pull your shoulders into position. So that way when I hinge and bend, I'm loading the hamstrings and glutes, I'm, I'm engaging my erectors, and now my scap retractors are gonna be able to engage, and I'm gonna get this nice pulling motion through here. 
I can change and pull up to the rib or I could pull up to the chest, but I notice how that's gonna affect my shoulder. So this is why we encourage our throwers and our, everybody lifting to pull here. We wanna pull back and this is gonna engage the back first, then the biceps and the delt become the secondary muscles that are helping assist, right? So really important. Now, simple exercise you can do too to mix it up you can do a split stance, take this position here, and when you row a barbell, you kind of by default, if I start pulling it here, you're gonna change the tilt. You see how it's gonna kind of start rocking? So if I pull up here, and again, notice it's too much shoulder, too much bicep. If I pull here and pull back to the hip, notice how the bar is kind of sliding, and I'm getting that really nice scap retraction, okay? So remember, we have supine grip, bent over row, we're gonna to come to the knee, nice flat back, set the hinge. We're gonna set here with a split position and we're gonna hold that bar and we're gonna be able to see this and we're gonna be able to row here and you're gonna see how I'm gonna be able to, it's gonna kind of force me into the position to row back and keep that bar in a nice stable line. Now our third movement we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to drop into the position we're gonna go a little wider. We're gonna notice how I'm gonna get my ribs down to the thighs and we're gonna be able to pull here. So now we're gonna work kind of that upper back motion and we're gonna be here. Now if I'm doing it right, I'm loading the hamstrings simultaneously. So you notice me from the side camera, you know, it's a pretty straight back position, right? I'm loaded up on the hamstrings and I'm gonna take that. If I got weight on the ground, I'm gonna be pulling here and I'm pulling it right under it, basically at the base of the pec, elbows nice and straight and so now, if you stood me up, I'm getting this motion here. So here, I'm pulling more of the scap retractors. Here, I'm pulling everything back, opening it up again. And here, I'm getting that nice row to the hip again. Three simple exercises. So let's talk simple numbers. If we're looking at, we wanna do, you know, you're doing five sets of bench in your workout, you should be doing 10 sets of rows. So if we did five sets of supine grip, bent over rows, and then we did our split row with the same barbell. Now we would have our 10 reps and we could go increase the reps because typically the weight that's gonna be used on the back, right? When we're bench pressing, we could probably put up 225 easier than you're gonna do a single arm row. So we're gonna increase the reps because our weight is gonna be likely less. Now here's the thing, make sure that your technical positions are good just like you're just like you're throwing, but the key is you quickly want to be doing enough posterior chain work so that you're increasing the strength in those accessory lifts that help you hit that bigger bench. When I can hold the bench into place, I'm gonna be able to push harder on here. If I fail up at the top, I probably need more tricep work, and that's part of that posterior chain. So if you're benching, make sure that your back work, your row work, right, and your tricep and posterior delt work is all being included in there. So many athletes, I've come across so many strength training programs, and they're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna smash the bench. We're gonna do bench press. We're gonna do close grip bench press. We're gonna do incline dumbbell bench. We're gonna do decline bench. We're gonna do dumbbell fly, and they're just murdering this. And then they're walking around like this, and they wonder why they're adding five or 10 pounds to their bench over 10 weeks. Whereas we can commonly see 50, 60, 70 pound jumps because we're really focusing on structural alignment, which is going to ultimately help you with your throwing as well. So it's twofold. So this is what we mean when we started this video. Are you wasting your time with strength training? Are you wasting your time on the bench? This is how you're wasting your time. Make sure to get in that post to your chain. As a rule, we recommend two to one ratio. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you like that. If you're looking to design your ultimate throws training program, we have a course specifically designed to do that. It complements the throwing chain reaction system. And as I mentioned in this video, you have the strength component and how it affects your gains in the weight room and how it's gonna affect you technically in the ring when I demonstrated how we're gonna improve thoracic rotation. This is really simple. This is a reason why some Sometimes your gains are really slow technically as well because your structure is limiting that. So guys, thanks so much. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with somebody who you know is benching too much, wasting their time, and let's help improve the sport. And check out the Throwing Chain Reaction System in our Ultimate Throws Training Program, and I will see you guys on the next video.